Hey, campaholics. It, it's just a t it, this is a tough day. It's a tough day. I think my man card has just been revoked. I got a smart car. I own a smart car. I'll tell you all about it. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Campaholics! Woo! Campbell Hawks, we bought this. Missy's behind the camera. We bought this 2013 smart car with 22,000 miles on it. We came across this at a local dealership, got a deal. Now we've been shopping smart cars for over a year and or can ams but like I said, I got my man car revoked for buying this smart car. I'm sorry guys, I apologize. <sighs> Thought about it, I can't. It makes I, sense. We were shopping a Can-Am. I wanted to get a Can-Am bike, trike, but she did. No, I didn't <laughs> because it still we still would be victims to the weather and all of that. So turn the camera on you, but no, talk. I don't want to. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it just I don't know. A second vehicle. <laughs> Stop it. A second vehicle makes more sense than a Can-Am, but I don't know. Give me back the camera. Just do the thing. So we got the we got the smart car. Hopefully it's going to fit in the back of camper. We haven't tried it yet. So yeah, we're, and then we're somebody this, we're going to do this today. Somebody told me that if there certain gears are bigger than others, and we we're like, holy crap! So we're going to try this today. This thing is five foot wide, nine foot long, uh, seventeen hundred pounds. Um, but I'll give you a tour of it. We haven't really used it much. Nope. Oh. It's quite roomy once you get in it. It's got AC, it's got heat, it's got a radio, it's got everything in a, a normal car like a little does. motorized golf cart. Yeah. And here I am. I'm 5'11", 220. Oh, you told your weight. Five, yeah, 5'11", 220, and I fit comfortably in it. And it, it's fun to drive, especially in high winds. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll go, we'll take a look at the back. It holds 10 gallons of gas. It gets about 40 miles a gallon. This is the hatchback version. Nailed it. It has a storage compartment under here. We got this little cover here. Echo fits nice in here. Here's your engine. There it is. 22,000 miles on this thing. That's your engine compartment. We'll have to get a bed for Echo because it gets kind of, they say it gets kind of warm back there. But she's got a few little teeny nicks on it, but other than that, for being almost, what, eight years old. Yep, we got the windows tinted, so it won't get so hot in there. Uh, but coming around the driver's side, Excuse me, Echo. Start it up. And she'll go good. I've had it up to 70 miles an hour. You have? Yeah, I've had it up to 70. Oh. So it gets it. So the other thing it doesn't have is cruise control and power windows. Yeah. But you can like reach across and just do it yourself. Right. Everything is easily accessible. So. It'll serve its purpose for us getting around little towns. It's not going to be for highway use and interstate. I mean, we know it's probably not, we don't have a chance, you know, against a tractor trailer, but small towns, it'll be good. Yes. Yeah, Grocery runs instead of having to pay, take the big dually out. It's got like eight airbags in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the virtual, hopefully it's going to fit the back of this. It will. It's just a matter of figuring out how to strap it down. So we got this so we don't drive the big 450 all over these small towns that we're going to visit across the nation. Uh, our first big stop is in the Florida Keys. We leave in 30 days. And uh, 
yeah, 450 is just not going to fit in this parking lot down there. So. And my thought process is if something happens to the dually while we're out and about, then we're really stuck. Correct. Yep, yeah, we got another vehicle. So if, if the dually breaks down for whatever reason, because we're always using it, yeah, then we got no play to tow our house. So this is going to be a primary vehicle once we get set up at a campsite. At as long as the weather's good. As long as the weather's good. So the goal is to fit it in the back of our toy hauler and take it across country. Let's see. And we'll see what happens. Here, I'll take you for a test drive. All right, as you can see in here, yeah, I'm comfortable. I'm sitting back. Actually, I can go even farther back. So right about there, but I, actually I just moved the seat up just one. I do run with the lights on all the time for a little safety. And look, I can reach the other door, shut the door. So, all right, let's take a little test drive. Door was open. So we're pulling out here, and again, we got this because we wanted to have, it made sense. You know, as much as it, as much as it, I lost cool factor with it, although it is a cool in its own sense. And here we go. So she goes pretty quick. I'm already up to uh, 50, so not bad little car. Well, we affectionately named this thing Little Mo, because Big Bo is the rig. So this is Little Mo. But right now we're up, we're running 55 mile an hour. Uh, is it the most comfortable ride? No, it's a little stiff. Of course, it's low to the ground. Uh, it's fun driving this thing in high winds because it will blow you around. <laughs> but for the most part, the insurance is cheap on it. Uh, we bought this used, again, it's a 2013 with 22,000 miles on it. I have one owner and uh, they just kept it in the garage and an older couple just kept it in the garage. They didn't drive it much, so it worked out. I was surprised this is a Mercedes-Benz product. I did not know that. I did some research on it. I mean, evidently they built these things, a roll cage around these things. They get a good safety rating, but however, you take a hard impact of this thing, it's going to hurt. So, we're on a nice smooth road right now. It's a little bit quieter. Not a bad little car. All right, last night we were at Lowe's, but before we get started on loading the uh, smart car up in here, Lowe's has their special order sale items, people special order stuff and then they return it for whatever reason. This is a washer dryer combo. We picked this bad boy up last night for $454. So that was a score. So now we got a washer and dryer in here. She can rest easy now, as she's been talking about it all freaking year, about getting a washer and dryer in here and spending $1,500 on a washer dryer combo, when in fact, we, we scored last night with that deal. <clears throat> all right the car's running we're gonna give this a shot i bought these race ramps from etrailer.com make it a little bit easier on the incline i've already tilted the camper up the front of it up to take some of this incline out and so we're gonna see how it goes let me see a film from in here the goal is to get it <laughs> right about here Okay. You got life insurance on me? Yeah. All right, I feel like Evil Knievel. You don't look like Evil Knievel. Hi. Remember? Why we're doing this? Okay. Look at 
this nasty rig prepping for full time life. Hey! Echo, come on! Echo, get over here. Hey, come on, let's go. Get down here. Let's go. Get down. Yeah, I mean, we could go further, but can you get out? I'm going to just say this was not as easy as I thought. This was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. It'd be a lot easier without having to worry about hitting the Of washer. course! The one damn thing that I decide that we really think we need. <clears throat> Alright, success. It fits. Just got to figure out how we're going to strap it down. Put some wheel chocks on it. Uh, we've got plenty of headroom. What I did was... To get out of it the smart car the passenger seat, seat folds all the way down so i just crawled over here put this gate down and crawled on out so we won't be putting this in here for every trip just the long trips short trips from here to there from different campgrounds that are close proximity you know she'll follow me in the, with this car but we know if it's so that's that's a good thing and the ramp didn't collapse. Shout out to Grand Design. This is a Grand Design Momentum 395, a 2020 model. So, yeah, there it is. All right, I hope you enjoy this little tour of our smart car, 2013 smart car. Smart car for two, as it's called. Um, practicality is gonna work for us. <laughs>